I'm using Walnut Alcott Medium for quick drying. So here is the photograph that I took in New Zealand recently. This is what I'm working from. As you can see, I've already blocked in a lot of the major shapes. So now let's get into some detail. This is cerulean blue, which is a greenish blue. Uh, I'm mixing it with titanium white uh, for the sky color. It was actually a fairly cloudy day. So this is artist license to put in a patch of blue. I want to strengthen the edges of the mountains without making them too sharp. Uh, they need to be a little bit soft being in the background. So I just mixed up some ivory black, white, and a touch of blue. Rule of thumb is that the sky is usually the lightest part of a landscape painting. However, when you're dealing with snow, that's not always true. As you can see, I'm using a variety of brushes for this particular painting. Some are flat brushes, some are riggers or liners, some people call them liners. And uh, I'm also using tree and texture brushes from uh, Rosemary & Co. Uh, I find they're particularly good when you're first laying in scrubby grass. It's good as a sort of an underpainting uh, that, that particular brush uh, but right here I'm using the liner brush series 315 and it's great for fine detail Time to strengthen up some of these rocks. So I'm just putting in a warm gray <coughs> just to give them a little bit more definition. They're going to, this is more like an underpainting on the rocks really. Um, and then I'm adding some burnt umber as well. Helps with the drying process as it's such a fast drying paint. This brush is called a coma brush 
and you could actually make a comb brush by getting a flat or a filbert and chopping some of the bristles out of it so you get a very rough edge to it but if you buy a comb brush it's already been done for you idea to step back from your painting frequently <coughs> and uh, sort of assess the overall look of things, uh, how everything's going, color-wise, uh, balance, even composition, which is always changeable, let's face it. So what I decided here was that this middle horizon line, not the, not the mountain, but the, the foreground more or less, is uh, pretty well centered top from bottom which is not such a great idea in a landscape painting so i've decided to bring this down from 12 inches deep to 10 inches deep It'll be 10 by 16 and um, i think that's going to improve the situation so what i'm just using masking tape to cover up what i've already done and i'm going to be repainting uh, the bottom strip um, anyway uh, because it's cutting rocks off in funny places and things like that so let's give it a whirl As you can see, I'm not following the photograph exactly, um, but just trying to give the impression that in these wild lands in, on the South Island of New Zealand, you do get a lot of wild grass, and uh, I'm just trying to give that general impression, really. Thank you. 
I finally decided to make this painting 9 by 16. It seems more pleasing to the eye. Hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe. I've got some new videos coming online pretty soon, so hope to see you then.